Welcome to another Growth Mindset Monday. Today, I'm talking about the importance of lifelong learning, and I'm going to tell a little story from rock and roll history and what I've learned about this concept from thrash metal band Metallica. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Seeing Clearly YouTube channel. I am Daniel Brunson, ABO certified optician and eyewear enthusiast. On this channel, I cover topics related to seeing clearly with your eyes as well as your mind. Now, these may include frame and lens technologies, healthy living habits for peak performance, or ways to develop a growth mindset. Now, as of this recording, I've been working as an optician for 20 years, and I've been running an optical boutique for 12. Uh, there's a lot I know, but I also know enough to know that there are still plenty of things I don't know. And that is why I allocate regular time to pursue continuing education. And the optical industry has many resources available for learning. We have trade magazines like 2020 Magazine, which have plenty of uh, free and some paid CE courses. You can listen to podcasts like Defocus Media Network or the Envision Podcast with D. Carroll. Or you can attend conferences. I've learned much from classes and talks that I have attended at Vision Expo East in New York, and these conferences are beneficial in other ways too. You'll make friends with some of your peers from other places who will become contacts in the industry that you can also learn from. So the topic this week is to never stop learning. Now I'd like to tell a short story about a musician named Kirk Hammett that I first read about in Ryan Holiday's great book, Ego is the Enemy. Now if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend you check it out. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the name Kirk Hammett, he is the lead guitarist for the thrash metal band you might have heard of called Metallica. I find the story of Hammett's career valuable as it relates to having a growth mindset. Now, in the early 1980s, before Metallica was widely known, the members of the band fired their lead guitar player Dave Mustaine because of his extensive drug and alcohol problems at that time. And they hired the young Kirk Hammett, who had been with a little-known band called Exodus. Now, within a few short years, Metallica became very popular and started finding commercial success. It would have been easy for the talented Kirk Hammett to believe he had already arrived as a successful guitar player with his leap to success, but what happened next was a bit surprising. Hammett realized that although he had found success, by landing in a dream band and making it big, that he still had a lot to learn. Now, back at his home in San Francisco, he decided to find a teacher. He realized that he could benefit from learning from someone with more experience and more skill. He eventually chose a man named Joe Satriani. Now, this was a guy who had a reputation for teaching other great guitar players. Satriani later said of Hammett, quote, he was a good student. Many of his friends and contemporaries would storm out complaining, thinking I was too harsh a teacher." End quote. So Hammett, with a humble mindset, went to his lessons every week for the next two years and did as he was instructed by his teacher. Now the rest, as they say, is history. With nine Grammy Awards and their last six consecutive studio albums having debuted at number one on the Billboard Top 200, I suspect even those of you who are not thrash metal fans are at least somewhat aware that Metallica has enjoyed massive commercial success for many decades now. So my seeing clearly takeaway from this story is to never stop learning. It is also to never believe that I know enough that I don't still have room to grow and can learn from others who are wiser than I am. Be like Kirk Hammett and never stop learning, even after you have enjoyed success.